and buttons which I've long been hankering after. Mother of pearl with a few white stones around the edge. Why is it, I wonder, that those who cannot afford it would like to spend a fortune on such articles, and those who can pay do not do so? Renting rooms from the mother of Aloysia Weber, he hadn't far to travel for extracurricular entertainment. But it wasn't the recently married Aloysia who took his fancy, but her younger sister, Constanza. Dearest father, you remember Aloysia? Well, the middle Weber daughter, dear Constanza, is the martyr of the family. She is the cleverest and, in short, she's not ugly. But not really beautiful. She has no great wit but enough common sense that I love her and she loves me with all her heart. You signed, I suppose, your Apollo of a son. This is how I react to treachery! Betrayal! My own flesh and blood! How could he agree to such an arrangement? To marry this girl within three years or pay her money for the rest of his life? Papa kept the archive. All fulfills former work and would only release copies one at a time if he asked. It was right that he administer such control. Well, he must take me for an idiot. This Constanza Weber is clearly a prostitute and a, a guardian, a, a pimp, a, a panderer. Hello, peddler of dank flesh. The Mozarts are unjust. It's true that my mother and guardian drew up such a document, but I was shocked to see such preconditions. I called Wolfgang to me and asked directly whether he loved me. He said yes, he did. And so I immediately ripped the document in two. If I had my way, she would go down in history as the woman who corrupted my son. Broke up my family. And my dearest Nunnerl who stayed ever by my side. She shall have whatever riches I leave behind. My brother wrote to me protesting as to how there can be such monsters in the shape of my father, and that he would write to him and call him worse than the devil, and that he would marry Constanza Weber with or without our papa's consent, which he did, and my father and I, no, we never forgave him. His father's consent was withheld until after the wedding. He was torn apart by it. And the feelings came out in other ways. I saw all the suffering, the pain, and the guilt. By now, Mozart had experienced an intensity of emotions which he was able to draw from and pour into his piano works. I believe it's his experience of life that gave him the ability to capture in music the sense of what it is to be human. Music where joy and pain can be experienced at the same time with equal intensity. Here's a composer writing not just to fulfill a commission, but out of great spiritual in a need. Dearest Fulfurl, Father refuses to release the music you have asked for. I'm sorry, but he is really very upset. You must think of him also, of all the years of sacrifice. It's only on reading these letters that I realised just how painful the split was between Leopold and Wolfgang. They'd had the most intensive hand-in-glove type father-son relationship. The great irony is that following the break, Wolfgang became exactly the entrepreneur that his father had always been. 
He set about promoting himself in Vienna as the leading concert pianist, planning not one, but 20 concerts which people could subscribe to. And the word is that the music itself is shockingly passionate. Give it here, I'll sign it. Oh, no, 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 I want to sign it. I tell it. you, I, 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 no, I, no, I no, am no, the no, senior I'm... here. Oh, eight, I insist oh, on signing it. Thank you very much indeed. He is, I'm told, the most extraordinary player. The music is most complex and abstract. In Too many notes, the Emperor said. Quite enough to make your head spin. What do you think? Doing everything himself. Not only writing and performing, but playing the businessman. And these concerts are not in theatres. No, they're in the open air. And in the casinos. Mozart's new subscription concerts were an astounding success. They were the must-have tickets in town. Anyone who was anyone wanted to be there. He was also attracting a broader audience, the newly empowered middle classes. This was gripping music, which spoke directly to its public. A public that was already falling over itself to hear this great new athlete of an instrument, Mozart's redesigned forte piano. An instrument that was capable of taking the orchestra on equal terms in full-blooded dialogue and debate. And so by harnessing the great potency of this new instrument, coupled with his own creative brilliance, Mozart created the modern piano concerto. It's this enormous energy that pulses through Mozart's masterpiece, the D minor. He barely completed it before travelling through the streets of Vienna, followed by the instrument itself. Awaiting with anticipation was none other than Emperor Joseph II himself. But there was someone more important who planned to be there that evening. Wolfgang and I had not seen one another for nearly two years. But I could resist it no longer. My son was hailed by all of Vienna. Not only as a great pianist, but as one of the greatest, the most controversial composers of his time. <laughs> All Vienna has heard of the concert. You must be very proud. Perhaps I may glimpse the young maestro when we arrive. No, he won't be meeting me. The truth is, he does not know what time I'm arriving. A little surprise 